hope YouTube hits you for the franchise guy. Come back at you again with another episode of NH not NHL. That's the wrong game. This is Madden 18. Right? Madden 18, Madden 19. Madden 18. Uh featuring your boy Chance Bishop. I really hope this is Madden 18. I have no clue right now what Madden I am playing. Um Oh boy, what Madden am I playing? It has to be 18. Because the season started in 18, unless it's like. Because 16 was Odell Beckham. 17 was Rob Gronkowski. 18. This is Madden 19. That's a Madden. This is Madden 19 because it's Tom Brady on the cover. Madden 18 had uh, Antonio. Oh boy, this is why I don't record videos at uh, 3.30 in the morning, I guess. This is why people need sleep, uh, I need to hydrate, I need to eat regularly, because, um, if you don't, you're gonna be making blunders like that, and not know what game you're playing. Uh, so that's always fun. We went from NHL to Madden of last year. Not even this year's Madden, last year's Madden. Oh boy. But this is the season finale. Of, I guess, this season right here. I mean, we're going to go up to the playoffs. The next episode will be the playoffs, which we will go for the official Chance Bishop Dynasty. The official Chance Bishop Dynasty. Uh, I get it. Technically, the, this Eagles team is already a dynasty. Uh, Carson Wentz has won three Super Bowls. Technically, Nick Foles won one of them. Carson Wentz has won the past two. Uh, besides, that's besides the point right there, though. Uh, Chance Bishop, the Chance Bishop dynasty will hopefully start at the end of next episode. Still going to go through the playoffs. We're guaranteed to get a first round bye right now, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're 12 0 going into this game. So, yeah, we have to. Have to get a first round bye. No way around it. End up winning that game. Only two sacks. Slow game. One of those slow games I was talking about right now. Where we 13 right there. Mitch Trubisky. Got a dirty elbow right now. He got him to the ground pretty hard. Take it on the Vikings right now. Our old friend. Kirk Cousins is still the quarterback. I really do hope so. He signed a big boy contract. Not too long ago. We're playing at the link right now. Which is always. I mean always a good time. Jason Kelsey high-fiving us as we go onto the field. I mean, just look at this crowd. This crowd is pumped up. Carson Wentz is the lord and savior of the Philadelphia Eagles. They don't call it Wentzylvania for no reason. Nelson Aguilar looking for his fourth ring last week. He put up the big week, nine catches, 118 yards and a touchdown. That's not a bad, I guess that's not a great game. That's really just like 10, that's longest catch of just under 20 yards. It's really no more than 10 yards catch. No more than 10 yards to catch. But uh, getting into this game, first and 10, getting on that rush right there. Dalvin Cook just gets bullied to the ground, and I mean bullied hard. Third and five, I'm sorry, Sam Bradford. Sam Bradford is the quarterback of this team. Vikings, after, I guess, losing uh, Kirk Cousins the free agency, went back to Sam Bradford, the quarterback who started, you know, this Eagles-Vikings rivalry. You know, Eagles traded a, fir uh, Vikings traded a first round draft pick to the Eagles, who didn't have a first round draft pick that year, for Sam Bradford. He was then drafted Derek Barnett and traded that fourth round pick I think they got for him to um to someone and they got JJ for it or the third round pick and they got JJ with that pick so Vikings got fleeced right there then they met up with the Eagles when they had Casey as Casey Keenan versus Nick Foles in the, the NFC championship game and uh right after the Minneapolis Miracle Turned into the Minneapolis Massacre as the Eagles pedaled to the metal 37 unanswered points, I believe it was. 
I mean, the uh, the Vikings made one crucial mistake. They got the fans involved. Uh, Deshaun Haskins uh, led the week last week. 24 carries, 51 yards, long of seven and a touchdown. Uh, Smith right here is talking to Frank Reich, maybe. Hopefully Frank Reich is still the head coach of this Colts team. Bennett McLeod, still a return guy. Uh, that is not Andrew Luck right there. Because if it was Andrew Luck, Andrew Luck would definitely need a new shoulder after that sack right there. Chance Bishop asking where's the money. And Chance Bishop deserves all the money in the world. S. Fede? Fede? Better? I don't know. Fede? His name's now Fede. It's uh, something Fede. I don't know what his first name is. But uh, Fide right there, and getting leveled, and I mean leveled by Chance Bishop. Look at that. Chance Bishop is doing some kind of crazy thing. Oh, he's getting the money out. Chance Bishop is all about the money. Andrew Luck now in at quarterback. You know, Andrew Luck got leveled right there. I guess uh, for some reason Luck's the backup now? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, look at that. They're going 31 to 3. 31 to 3. That is an insane stat line. And it's not like the Eagles are just every once in a while. This is every week the Eagles are doing this. Chance Bishop rewarded with another skill upgrade. Upgrade that power rush up to a 97 right now. Final game of the season against the Eagles Kryptonite. This entire series pretty much. The Detroit Lions, Matt Patricia, Matt Stafford, uh, Theo Riddick, you know, just a bunch of Matts. Stafford, still the quarterback right now of this Detroit Lions team. Unlike Andrew Luck, he's no longer the quarterback of the Colts. But good to see Stafford, though. Good to see Stafford as the quarterback still. Of this team, you know, he won his team the Super Bowl. He deserves to be the quarterback. He really does. JJ pumping up some old men right here. Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, these are some old dudes right now. And I mean old dudes. These guys were, you know, they weren't young when they was on their first Super Bowl. Now that, you know, five years later, these guys are like in their mid to late 30s. These are some old guys in football who are just, they're just stat padding the rings right now. They're just in it for the rings and the money. You know, Gallipo Bishop getting on the half sack of Stafford. They're, Stafford, not the captain. Not entirely sure if uh, Detroit doesn't do captain's patches, but uh, he's not listed as a captain right there. Pick up a fumble right there. That's uh, Ono Dixon. Fumble recovery. We end up blowing out uh, Detroit, 48 to nothing, negative 19 passing yards, 8 rushing yards. They lost yards every play. Look at that. They're trying to pump up uh, Matt Stafford. Like, he had a bad game, but it's fine. Stafford not, not in the pumping up mood right now. Not one bit. Chance Bishop wins NFL MVP, followed by Zane Abbott, Matt Ryan, uh, Sam Darnold, Will Grimes. Coach of the year is Demetrius Turner at 16-0. Sean Payne, 12 and 4 is next. Offensive player of the year went to Matt Ryan. No Eagles. Defensive player of the year, of course, went to Chance Bishop, followed by Gallipo. And Swag Cravens was number 10. Offensive rookie of the year. Uh, you got Richardson for the Eagles. Defensive player rookie of the year. Oh no, Dixon for the Eagles. Best QB. We got Carson Wentz up here. No Carson Wentz. Best running back. JJ right there at six. Best wide receiver. Any Eagles up in here? No Eagles. Offensive line. Got Kelsey Brooks and Gilbert Freeman. Best D line. The Gallipo. And another Eagle. I just missed him. Best linebackers. Chance Bishop, hands down. No way around it. Best uh, D back. You had Swat Cravens and Darby. Best kicker. Former Eagle Jake Elliott. Robbie Gold. Sturgis, Graham Gano. Uh, if you guys like this episode, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you guys missed an episode, make sure you guys check out the playlist down below.
but peace out rock on youtube and stay classy